It is time now to announce the names of our five finalists. It's also a chance for you to determine what kind of judge you'd be. You and our panel have both seen and heard the same competition since our semi-finalists were announced. This time, the scores you will see represent the average score each contestant received for the three semi-final competitions. Now, let's find out who our judges have chosen to be our five finalists. Here we go. Number one. Miss USA! Another of the favorites with the audience, Miss Italy! I don't think you will be surprised with Miss Puerto Rico. And Miss Chile. And now only one more, only one more beauty delegate who can become Miss Universe. She is Miss Venezuela. There we have our five finalists, and they certainly are lovely. All their previous scores are now discarded. From these five, our celebrity panel will select the new Miss Universe. said, having chosen our five finalists, we now discard all of their scores. And from this group of five, each judge will rank our finalists in order of preference. They'll put those rankings into our computer, and out will come the names of the new Miss Universe and the four runners-up. Now, most of the contestants in tonight's pageant had never been to Singapore before. Well, neither had Bob nor I. And I can assure you that all of us are going home with our own individual and wonderful memories of this exotic city. And so that you, too, can share some of those memories, here is the reigning Miss Universe, Barbara Palacios Tede. Because it is a place of contrast, you don't just visit Singapore, you experience it. It is tradition, it is progress, it is nature, it is modern. Breakfast on the terrace is always a treat, but in surprise in Singapore, you never know who your guest may be. Today, Singapore is proud to be the busiest seaport in the world, but it is also proud of its history. The rich and colorful history of Singapore is portrayed in the Santosa Wax Museum. Here, the past is magically recreated in lifelike images. reflect cultures. One is Chinese, with artisans, exotic fruits, and symbols. Another is Malay, where you find merchants, materials, and mosques. And another is Indian, where Bombay and Calcutta and New Delhi come alive in Singapore.
Thailand place combines all lifestyles and new diets. In the shops and restaurants here, visitors can relieve the heritage of this remarkably unique culture. Sir Stamford Raffles might not recognize the city he gave new life to, but he would be proud of it. written that man's first home was a garden, and these orchid gardens are home to the national flower Singapore, Banda Nishokin. It is somehow fitting that the beautiful contrasting colors of the orchid should be the symbol of beautiful contrasting Singapore. Exciting memories of Singapore. Now, just ahead, our judges will be choosing which young lady will take home the most special memory. They'll be casting their deciding votes right after this word from Tartar Control Chris. 